Hi, welcome to another episode of Chick Beer with Hophead and Porter. I'm Porter. I'm Hophead. And tonight we are at the fabulous Forest in Maine Brewery and Pub, uh, right in Ambler, and we're being fed delicious beers. And <laughs> again, uh, they just keep coming at us, so we're going to enjoy them. Absolutely. <laughs> and we have uh, pouring for us right now. This is Jared Olson, uh, owner and brewer, and he's going to tell us about what we're drinking next. Sure. The next beer is called Palomino. It's a Cezanne brewed with some local blueberry and raspberry honey. Nice. Um, we added the honey toward the end of fermentation to retain like a lot of the aromatics of it, but it still ferments out completely, so it leaves you with a nice dry beer. Cezanne's a really nice Belgian, really hoppy kind of style of beer. So, hope you guys like it. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Sounds fabulous. We're excited. Fabulous is my word of the day. Mm -hmm. It appears to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just so we all know, it's Forest in Maine, right on the corner of Forest in Maine and Ambler. And that's Forest with one R. One. Yes. I don't know who spells Forest with two. Yeah, honestly, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm an English major, so that's, you know, that's what we do. Everything's misspelled, and it's all wrong. <laughs> That's, that's what you get for going to college. Wow. All right. Served in Belgian glasses. Very nice. Check it out. It's a so very, see. very nice color of a, a light apricot color. Yeah, it's it's definitely opaque. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, I don't really see sediment in there. Um, it's just solid. Just solid. Solid. Got a very nice smell to it. Um, we definitely know from the smell that it's a Belgian smell. It's not overpowering. No, 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 it's not. Um, which is good. But you definitely you you definitely smell a little bit of spice in there. Mm -hmm. A nice, almost almost fruity aroma mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Very nice, nice head. The head is very nice. It seems mm -hmm. very clean. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of sticking to the sides there. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, for I it. totally want to try this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm That's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's very crisp. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. Oh never mind. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You definitely get the spices, mm -hmm. um, but with the addition of the honey, you'd think it would be sweeter, but it's really not. And it, it does have a nice dry finish. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is sweet, but not not very sweet. Definitely not. And it's got a nice, light, mm -hmm. uh, you know, feeling that a little bubbly in the mouth, you know. Pleasant to drink for sure, and, and uh, smooth because it's it it is rather dry at the finish, but. It's not like sucking the juice out of my mouth. <laughs> no, it's yeah. definitely not. Um, the uh, there's a lot of flavors going on in here. Um, you you definitely taste the 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 normal sort of Belgian spice, but it's not it's not very strong, and it seems to kind of just meld into like a, a very light fruity flavor. Mm -hmm. Very very light. Right. Um, everything about this is very it's very balanced. Yeah. Nothing is <laughs> sticking out. Beyond what I would normally like, expect right? No, there's no, Belgian. there's no one flavor that like you know overpowers any of the others, which is really nice because there's you know so many different layers to what's happening as you drink it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's got a pleasant aftertaste. I can't really put my finger on it, but it's nice. Yeah, it seems the flavor kind of changes a little bit as it goes over your tongue as you swallow. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of the the spice up front. Right. You swallow, it's still there. But then it, it does kind of just smooth over, mm -hmm. and you get that nice sort of fruity taste. Yeah. That was good sauce. Oh, that's very tasty. Yeah, you usually don't like them either. Not usually a big Belgian person, no. But um, this doesn't have any of the flavors that I typically associate with Belgian beers that I don't like. <laughs> Which would uh, make sense as to why I like it. So, you know, with a lot of Belgian <laughs> beers, Belgian beers, Belgian style beers, I often think that... Do you have a rubber hose taste to them? It's I've never. Yeah, you know what I'm talking that. about. <laughs> well, I have. Um, 
It's either that or also reminds me of a turtle tank, as a lot of them do. I don't know what that's all about, but this that's doesn't have that. That's it's good. very nice. <laughs> turtle tank. That's what it smells like to me. What do you want? I think you're crazy. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, do you like it enough to buy a grog? I do. I do. This is really good. And uh, not something I think I'd, you know, drink a whole lot of. You know, in one sitting or whatever. Um, you know, if I were to, to come to the bar here, I could definitely have, you know, see drinking one of these and then um, probably, you know, going on to something else. But it's really nice and I definitely like it. Um, how about you? Growler worthy? I think it is. Nice. Um, I do say that with some reservations just because I normally don't um, go for the Belgians. I did like a couple, mm -hmm. as we remember in <laughs> the <laughs> double whip. Um, <laughs> but. This it is really light, um, so I could definitely see myself drinking it now and again. But it seems like it's a have a glass, enjoy it, and then like you said, move on to something else or just be mm -hmm. done with drinking. It's <laughs> never just done with drinking. Come on, let's be real, folks. Hey, we everyone has one of those days. <laughs> everyone. Yes, but this is quite good and something I definitely recommend trying. And this was the Palomino, which was I don't believe we said the ABV is at four point five. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah. cheers. Um, thanks for watching Chip Beer. And you can visit our website at hopheadandporter.com and you can visit Forest and Main's website at www.forestandmain.com. And again, one R. One R. Get it right, people. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>